I was like, oh my God, I want to go home. <sighs> hey, you guys, so I'm coming back at you with another story time. Um, I did a poll on my Twitter, on my Facebook, and my Instagram again. And the poll that won was um, the Hookah Lounge Bra. So if you do not follow me on my Twitter, on my Instagram, and on my Facebook, I'm going to leave um, my information in the description box so that you can go ahead and follow me and you can take part in these polls for each and every story time that I'm going to do. So if you guys want a certain story time, you guys can vote and maybe you have a better chance of hearing that story time first. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell next to it when you do subscribe so that you get notified of every time I make a story time and it would make me so happy if you did it. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background of when the story time took place. It was um, in 2015, like December 31st, 2015, turning New Year's 2016. And me and my son's father were not together. He was living in Florida at the time and I was living in Buffalo, New York, all the way across the country. Um, and my son had not turned one yet. He was like in his first year of life. There was a lot of holidays my son did not get to spend with his father, but those were also his first holidays. So I didn't want to send him to Florida for him to see him. Even though it was a little bit selfish, those were his first holidays. And my son was born here in Buffalo. And I just felt like if you wanted to be part of those holidays, you could have been here. He came like a day or two after Christmas. And... It was a surprise. He just told me that um, my son's Christmas present was coming in the mail and to just keep an eye out for it. And when the Christmas present came, he came with the Christmas present and he was delivering it. It wasn't coming in the mail. It was coming with him on the plane. So he came to see our son. And not that I didn't want him to see him, but it was it was my son's first New Year's and I wanted to spend it with him. We ended up getting into an argument about why couldn't he spend New Year's with him and his family. And I was like, no, this is his first New Year's, and I want to spend it with him. And I've never made plans to go out on New Year's. Like, I always was the type to stay home for New Year's and enjoy it with my friends and family. So he, like, really wanted to spend time with him on New Year's. I was finally, like you know what, fine, he's probably not even going to be up when the ball drops, so you can spend it with him, that's fine, I'll make plans, so for the first portion of New Year's, I stood with him and his family, I went to the little get-together from, I don't know what time I got there, but I stayed until like 10, 10 30, and then I was like, okay, I'm leaving, and he's like, you're not staying until the ball drops, and I'm like, no, I'm, I have plans, I'm gonna go. Then I went to go pick up my friend. We're going to call her Marisol. And we got to the hookah lounge. Our ride dropped us off at the hookah lounge. It was around 11, 11.30 when we got there. Um, and not a lot of people were there. There was only these two girls sitting on a couch, and we sat on a couch next to them. So they were just sitting there, and then, like, they were smoking their hookah or whatever. And we didn't know anybody there. There was just dumb and then like two, three other people there. It was still a little bit early, but we had got there early because if you came before 11 o'clock and you were, I think it was before you came, if you came before the ball dropped and you were a female, you got in free. So we got there before the ball dropped because who was about to pay? Not me. Not her. We cheap as fuck. So none of us was going to pay. So it was like, oh, free. So let's go. After a while... People started to come in, and we didn't really know them. We knew, like, three people there, and those three guys came and chilled with us. Um, and that was about it. For, like, the rest of the night, we didn't really know people who were there because this wasn't, like, our vibe. We were more, you know, Spanish vibe, and we wasn't, like, into that type of atmosphere, but I was only... I think I was like 18. I think I just turned 18. And I couldn't go anywhere else. So 
after a while, those two girls left. And they had came back like half an hour after that. And they started to kind of argue with Marisol because apparently they had a purse and they didn't know where their purse was anymore. But they were like on something. Like, I kid you not, they were on something. Either a crack, if they was on pills, if they was on Molly. I don't know if... I don't know, but they were not just drunk and they were not just high off of marijuana. They were on something. And they were falling all over the place and they were just like in each other's faces, like looking at each other like they were like fucking zombies. I don't understand what the fuck was going on, but they were on something. And I could tell the difference if you're drunk or if you're high off of marijuana. I know. I've seen that in people. I've seen that in my friends. But... These girls was not on that. This was a whole different kind of level or something. Okay? So, Marisol's not the one. She's not for this atmosphere, and she was not like... She was like, girl, you ain't have no damn purse. I ain't see you have no damn purse, even if you did have a purse. And I ain't take your shit, so why are you pressing me about it? Is there a problem? And she's like... The girls are like, no, 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 no. We didn't mean it like that. She was starting to get aggy about those girls, so they started to leave again. After they leave, I guess these other girls thought it was a good opportunity to start smoking on the first girl's hookah. So they came and started smoking the other girl's hookah. One of the girls who worked there was like, this isn't your hookah. Why are you smoking it? And to be honest, that was fucking nasty as fuck. Like, bitch, you're that broke that you can't get your own hookah and smoke your own shit. Like, their mouth was all over that. They're high off of something. You don't know what the fuck they're high off of. Their mouth was all over that. And you're going to just smoke their shit because you can't buy your own hookah. And it's not even that expensive. Like, you don't even have a mouthpiece, your individual mouthpiece, like, that's not safe. You're nasty. That was just gross. They got into an argument with the girl who works there. And the bitch, like, she was, like, not happy that the girl was calling her out because people started to stare. And since people started to stare, she wanted to get bold and be like, I'm not about to be embarrassed because this girl's yelling at me. So she, like, they started to fight the girl that was there. And we're all, like, standing on the couches and shit. And... The guy that owns it was not having that shit. He was like, everybody get the fuck off the furniture and security get them bitches out my club. Like, damn. Well, damn. Right after this happened, I was like, yo, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. So, there was like, a lot of tension in the air and the boys got us a hookah and it was like mango or pineapple and they're like you just calm down it's fine we come here all the time like it's okay this, this shit doesn't happen here and I don't believe them because that was the atmosphere that was there like shit was ratchet I told Marisol I was like I need to go outside and get some air because this I'm not for this shit like I'm not. So, I wanted to, like, enjoy myself. And I felt like these white bitches telling us, oh, y'all stole our purse and shit. And then these bitches get into a fight with that girl, with the girl that works there, like, and smoking on the white girl stuff. They were on drugs. Like, I was not for this ghetto-ness. It was ghetto and it was ratchet. I'm sorry. I can do ghetto. I've been to ghetto places and I understand ghetto situations sometimes. But that shit was just ratchet and it was messy and it was sloppy and I didn't like it. So I wanted to go outside and get some air. We go outside and get some air. The girls that were fighting with the the lady were outside arguing with the security guard. So the security guard was like, y'all need to get off the premises or I'm going to mace you. So he went to mace them, and it was windy as fuck outside because it was in the middle of the winter, and he maced himself. The wind blew the mace in his in his damn face. 
So, the girls was planning on running up on him. They were like a little whispering, whispering. They were going to run up on him because he got maced. And so he pulled for his gun and he was like, if any of y'all step near me, I'm going to shoot you. Boy, you cannot fucking see you threatening on shooting these bitches. We outside. What if a fucking bullet hits us? What the fuck? Yo, I was like, okay, time to go back inside. We try to go back inside. The other security guy's like, oh, y'all got to pay to get back in. Why the fuck are we going to pay to get back in if we didn't even pay to fucking get in in the first place? And he was like, he wanted to flirt with us and shit. And I was like, dude, I'm not for this shit. I'm not in the mood. This is the worst New Year's ever. Like, I don't, I don't want to do this shit. Don't flirt with me. Just let us back in so I can get my fucking coat and we can leave. Because my coat was still inside. And I'm like, dude, I want to go home. I'm not for it. So, he's like, if you tell me in Spanish that you want to go inside, well, we'll let you go inside. And I was like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm not going to play your little fucking game with you. And my friend's like, just tell him. And I'm like, no. And she was like, she told him, she was like, can y'all let us in in Spanish? And then he was like, I guess. And he was like, you're lucky I don't make you stay in outside. And I was like, I would tell her to get my fucking coat and we'll bounce because I'm not for this shit. Like, I'm not for your little games that you want to play with me and your unprofessional ass. And I'm not for all the bu- fucking ghettoness going on at this place. So I don't give a fuck if you let me go back inside or not. I just need my coat so I can skedaddle the fuck out of out here. Okay? So... Um, he left back in and he didn't fucking like me and shit. And so we go back inside and the boys are there smoking the hookah, but they're like flirting with other girls and stuff there. And I'm like, dude, I want to go home. Like, I'm not to be hanging around these little sloppy ass, drunk ass motherfuckers and shit. And I don't want to do this. Like, I just want to go home. I don't want to participate in any of this fucking shenanigans going on at this fucking club. There was bitches twerking on their boyfriends on the floor, like, with no panties on, their dress all lifting up because they're twerking, and they don't got no panties on. We can see all your shit. Mm. So I grabbed my coat. I went to use the bathroom, scooted by everybody, and then I scooted by everybody to come back. Um, I'm sitting next to the doorway because there's a charger space and I'm starting to charge my phone so I can call the cab to get the fuck up out of there. So we're sitting next to the doorway and out of nowhere, I don't know what the fuck happened. The DJ turns the music off. Security! Two guys start fighting and I didn't know where they were or anything like that, but They got real close to me real fucking fast. My friend Marisol jumped onto the couch next to her. She was sitting right next to me. She jumped to the couch next to her instead of grabbing me. She jumped to the couch next to her. And the guy got thrown on top of me. I was literally pinched under the guy that was getting hit. And every time the other guy would hit the guy, I would be more and more pinched. So I'm against the glass of the fucking window. And every time this guy is getting hit, I'm getting pushed more. And I can barely breathe, I swear to God. I was like, oh my God, I want to go home. (sighs) I had to wait till security got inside and grabbed this nigga. To get up from underneath this nigga. It was the longest. Like it felt like the longest moment of my life. I felt like I was going to die. I could not breathe. There was a whole grown ass man. On top of me. And a whole grown ass man. Hitting the other grown ass man. Putting more and more pressure. Onto me. And I used to be. So fucking skinny. After I had my son. For an entire year, I was so skinny. I couldn't breathe. And like, you know, talking about this shit makes me pissed. Because Marisol should have fucking grabbed me. Or she should have like did something. Because she fucking saved herself but didn't save me. 
and I didn't see the nigga coming. I'm trying to turn my phone on to call the damn cab, which we should have been left. Like, I didn't want to be at this fucking place anymore. We should have been left. Security took forever to come inside and break that fight up. And they grabbed them both, did not ask if I was okay. And I'm like, yo, this fucking club. I've never fucking been there again. I swear I slandered the fuck out of them on Facebook. I was like, this bullshit ass club with bullshit ass security. I'm just, oh, oh, oh. You guys. At this point, I couldn't get my phone to turn on. I had somebody who was there call a cab for us. The cab never got there. We had to wait till the club was completely closed because one of the security guards was a cab driver. One of the security guards gave us a ride home. The one that got maced in the eye, he gave us a ride home in his cab. Um, Marisol paid for his her portion until we got all the way to the west side. And then the meter started all over again. I didn't have much cash on me. And all I could do was go back to my son's father's house because if I went all the way home, I wasn't going to have enough money to get there. I went back to my son's father's house and he, his mom had just got home too. I guess she had went out and she never goes out. So I was very surprised. She had just got home and she was like, oh, you scared me. And I was like, I'm sorry. And she just looked at me like, Damn, some shit happened to this bitch because she looks pissed. So, I just went to my son's father's room and I was like, yo, scoot over. And I, like, I scoot him over. The baby was in his bassinet because he had, like, a bassinet there and he had a bassinet at my house. And I was like, scoot over. And he's, like, pissed that I left. And I'm like, just scoot over. Like, I'm not in the mood. So, he scoot over. <laughs> I just fucking went to sleep. And in the morning I left and I like I had never been so pissed in my life, you guys. I was pissed. In the morning I was still pissed. Like I can't believe I spent my New Year's like that. And ever since that, like last New Year's I drank at home with my friends. This New Year's I'm probably going to do the same thing because I will never ever ever put myself in a predicament like that ever again. It was the worst fucking New Year's of my life. Like, okay, guys, that is the end of my story time. My aggravating ass story time. Um, thank you guys so much for your love and support. As always, I'm not going to make a video saying this. I just want to see who stayed till the end. So, I feel like my subscribers have waited long enough. Yes, we're not at 100 subscribers yet. But I feel as though my subscribers have waited long enough for this giveaway. Even though we're not there yet, I decided that I'm going to do it anyways. So tomorrow, I'm going to be making a video saying who won and um, showing me doing this giveaway. And I'm going to be... I'm going to be reaching out to the person who won the giveaway to see what kind of phone they have because I'm going to be giving out the phone case and stuff like that. And I'm going to need their address and all that good stuff. So I don't have a lot of people entered in the giveaway. Make sure if you're seeing this right now, go enter. Go click on my giveaway update video and go answer because tomorrow I'm going to pick. And that's going to be it. So, thank you guys as always. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.